Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty. Has your limited response to ISIS in Iraq and Syria been driven in part by a sense that this is a very dangerous threat, but not the biggest problem the United States faces in the world, and you do not want to be distracted from far bigger things going on elsewhere? I think we can't underestimate the danger of ISIL. Uh, they are a terrorist network that, uh, unlike al-Qaeda, has not limited itself to the periodic attack, uh, but have aspirations to control large swaths of territory that possess resources and uh, effectively an army uh, that uh, pose great dangers to our allies and can destabilize entire regions that are very dangerous for us. So I, I don't want to uh, downplay that threat. It is a real one. It's the reason why I've authorized, uh, as part of a broader 60-nation coalition, uh, an effort to fight back and to push them back and ultimately destroy them. Um, but it's not the only danger we have. You know, America is probably as well positioned for the future as we've been in a very long time. Uh, it is true that when it comes to ISIL, uh, us devoting another trillion dollars after having been involved in big occupations of countries uh, that didn't turn out all that well, uh, I'm very hesitant to do that because we need to spend a trillion dollars rebuilding our schools, our roads, our basic science and research here in the United States, that is going to be a recipe for our long-term security and success. And what we've also learned is that if we do uh, for others what they need to do for themselves, if we come in and send the Marines in to fight ISIL and the Iraqis have no skin in the game, that it's not going to last. <laughs>